Hello, pirate artists. Welcome back. Or should I say artists? So this week I told you that we were going to draw something very close to you. Did you figure out what it was? It's a self-portrait. All right, let's get started. All right, my friends, in order to get started, we need to talk about our supplies. You are going to need a pencil and an eraser, a Sharpie or a black marker, and something to color with, either colored pencils or crayons, your choice, what you want to use this week. I'm going to use colored pencils this week because I used crayons last week. Now, if you recall, last week we looked at our chart that talked a little bit about the elements of art. So we talked about line and color last week. This week we're going to talk about shape. We're also going to talk a little bit about line because when we look at self-portraits, a lot of times I see people that look kind of like this, right? They have a circle head, an oval body, and some stick arms, legs, feet, and fingers. Now our arms and legs are not made out of sticks. They are made out of shapes. They should have two lines. There's some thickness to them. If you look at my arm, you can see there's one side here and one side here. Here on our stick man, we see one line. So when we're drawing our person, we're going to break that down into shapes. And I'm going to show you how right now. So we're going to start with a sheet of paper. I have a white sheet here. And we are going to start with that oval or circle for the head. So I'm going to go ahead and put my head in. Okay. Now for the body, I'm just going to put a rectangle in. This is going to sort of tell me where that body goes. Now the body should be bigger than the head. So this is kind of a giant head. I'm going to make it a little smaller. This is why we draw lightly. And then we can erase these lines on top and make them look like they go together. So if we take that head and we measure, it should be about two bodies. Now the legs are going to be rectangles as well, and they're going to be about as long as the body. So if I take my fingers like this and measure, and I pull them down here, I can see that at the bottom of my thumb, right around here, is where those feet are going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle here for a leg, and a rectangle here for a leg. Now when we draw arms, we can go ahead and put our little neck in here. When we draw arms, they come out of the shoulder. So that's right about here. We're going to go ahead and just draw another rectangle here to draw some arms coming out. One more rectangle. And I like to overlap it over that body. Now we're not going to worry too much about hands and feet today, so we'll just draw a little circle for the hands. We'll draw an oval for the feet. So this is already a huge improvement over our stick man, right? Okay, once we get our sketch in, we can go ahead and erase some of these extra lines. So I'm going to go ahead and sort of smooth these out and erase these inside lines. I already have a body going here. Maybe I want to... I've got a shirt and I've got some pants. Now, once we get that, we also want to talk a little bit about the face. Your eyeballs are not way up here on your forehead. They are down here, about halfway down your body, or down your head, face. So we're going to go ahead and put in a couple little round footballs and then a little circle inside of that. That circle is called the iris and that's the colored part of your eye and then we'll put that black part in that's called the pupil, it's the black part. And then we can go ahead and put in our nose. We're just going to draw like a little L shape and the mouth. And we'll put in some eyebrows. Now our ears, if you were to draw a line straight across, our ears would line up with our eyeballs. Now, our self-portrait's a little bit bald, so if you were a boy with short hair, 
your hair typically starts growing right about here, about halfway between the top of the head and the eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and put in that hair, make it come down, and it comes a little bit off your head, and then we'll erase those lines underneath. If you're a girl, maybe your hair is longer. My hair is about this long. And I may not even see my ears because my hair is covering it. So I would just erase those inside lines. Okay, once we get our drawing done and we really like the way it looks, we're going to go ahead and add some details. Our portrait is going to end up being a pirate. So think about what kind of pirate details do you want to add. Do you want to add a scarf, a vest, a coat, boots? I'm going to add some boots. So I want those legs to come in a little bit narrower, like this. And we're just drawing right over our old lines and then erasing them. And do the same thing here, bring that line in. We want those legs to be a little bit more of a V shape. I'm not wearing jeans. And then we'll go ahead and put that boot line in. I'm gonna go ahead and put some boots. I'm gonna make a nice square tip. I'm going to erase this foot line. And we can see we've got some boots happening. Trying to make my feet the same size. Okay, for my pirate shirt, I might put a vest. And maybe a t-shirt on underneath it. And then I would need a sleeve for that t-shirt, right? I'm going to erase this line here between the hands and our ball, or our hands and our arm. All right, once we get all of that done, I'm going to go ahead and start tracing with Sharpie. Okay, after I get my outline done, I'm going to think about some more details. So I'm going to add some fingers, one, two, three, and we add a little bump here for the thumb. Then we can add details like maybe stripes on our shirt. Put them on my sleeve too. Maybe we've got some buttons on our vest. Maybe we have a buckle on our boot. Could be down here too. I'm also going to add the little sole of our boot. The sole of the bottom of the boot. Okay, if you wanted to add some more details, you could go ahead and add anything else that you like. I'm going to make mine smiling a little bit. Okay, so I just got a crooked smile. All right, at this point, you can go ahead and color. Think about what color your hair is. My hair is brown. Think about what color your eyes are, your skin. I'm going to go ahead and put in my brown hair. All right, that's it for this week. Next week, we're going to add even more details to finish up our background. But for this week, 
I really want you to focus on those shapes for drawing a self-portrait. That means the oval head, rectangle body, rectangle arms, rectangle legs, circle hands, oval feet. So we have an oval, an oval, an oval, a circle, circle, rectangle, 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 rectangle. And then we'll add some details and color it in. I can't wait to see these in progress. If you notice some extra little scribble lines from sketching, go ahead and erase those. Most of the time we just color right over them and they disappear, but I notice a couple were outside the line. All right, have fun my friends. I can't wait to see your pirate self-portraits.